This is Akashwani, the news read by Naresh Mago. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that he distributed agricultural drones to girls in villages to break the social psyche that does not approve women driving even tractors. Speaking at the India Today conclave in Delhi, Mr. Modi said he distributed 1,000 drones to women's self-help groups in villages under the Namo Drone Didi Yojana. The Prime Minister said the government is specifically selecting women to take on the responsibility aiming to empower them economically and technologically. Mr. Modi said these drones will change the future of agriculture and women in villages. External Affairs Minister S. Jai Shankar has said that India needs to prepare domestically by focusing on manufacturing to counter China. Speaking at the India Today conclave, the minister said it is not just about the boundary issue, adding that there are major economic issues as well. Dr. Jai Shankar said, if you need to deal with China, you need to have an economy which is geared up for it. The external affairs minister said it was only in the last decade that India started focusing on its manufacturing sector to take on China. He noted that while the relationship with China has deteriorated after the 2020 Galwan clashes, tensions had been building up over a period of time. After the announcement of the Lok Sabha elections and assembly elections in four states, the Election Commission has issued directions for effective enforcement of provisions of the Model Code of Conduct. In a letter to Cabinet Secretary, Chief Secretaries of all states and Chief Electoral Officers, the Commission said that all wall writing, posters, papers or defacement in any other form on government property shall be removed within 24 hours from the announcement of elections. He said that no advertisements shall be issued in the electronic and print media highlighting the achievements of the government at the cost of the public exchequer. In Tripura, the State Election Department is gearing up its machinery for the ensuing Lok Sabha elections for two seats in the state, slated to be held on the 19th and 26th of April. Polling for Tripura West seat will be held on 19th April, whereas the electorate in Tripura East Lok Sabha seat will vote on the 26th of April. The by-election to the Ramnagar Assembly seat will take place on the 19th of April. The by-poll has been necessitated following the demise of BJP's sitting MLA, Surajit Dutta. Currently, preparations are on in full swing in the state by the election machinery to conduct a free, fair and peaceful poll. Officials said over 28.56 lakh electorate in the state is eligible to exercise its right to franchise in the ensuing Lok Sabha elections next month. The Enforcement Directorate ED has summoned Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal in the money laundering case linked to alleged irregularities in the Delhi Jal Board DJB. Official sources said he has been asked to depose before the investigation agency at its office in the national capital tomorrow and record his statement under the provisions of the Prevention of Money Laundering Act, PMLA. This is the second case registered under PMLA in which Mr. Kejriwal has been summoned. He is already facing summons for questioning in the Delhi Excise Policy-linked money laundering case. Mr. Kejriwal has skipped eight summons in this case till now, terming them illegal. The ED had sent him the ninth notice in the Excise Policy case to appear before it on the 21st of this month. In Iceland, a volcano has erupted in Reykjanes Peninsula, marking the fourth eruption since December. The volcano unleashed smoke and bright orange lava into the air. A state of emergency has been declared in the southern Iceland, prompting evacuation of nearby areas including renowned tourist attraction Blue Lagoon. In the Women's Premier League WPL cricket, the summit clash between Royal Challengers Bangalore and Delhi Capitals will be held at Arun Jaitley Stadium in New Delhi this evening. The match will start at 7.30 p.m. Smriti Mandhana-led RCB defeated defending champions Mumbai Indians by five runs in the semi-finals on Friday, while table toppers Meg Lanning-led Delhi Capitals entered the final directly. The India Meteorological Department IMD has forecast the scattered to moderate rainfall with thunderstorms, lightning and gusty winds is expected over Gangetic West Bengal during the next four days. It said that there is a possibility of hailstorms and squalls today in the region. And that is the end of this news bulletin.